first of all, thank you for all coming. I'm Kevin Messina, the superintendent, for those of you who don't know, but I think I pretty much know everybody in this room, and I even got to meet our really esteemed guest up here. I just met you guys, so I'm so excited to have you guys speak. So super excited uh, for this ribbon cutting ceremony today, um, just because of those of you who were here at the groundbreaking, if you remember, it was a cold, wet, we were trying to rush through it. The only one who was really comfortable was Jim, the old farmer. He's like, I'm comfortable in this weather, I can handle this. Uh, the rest of us uh, city folk, we were like, we gotta get inside. And, uh, but if you remember that day, we, were, we did the, the groundbreaking and then um, it's amazing from that point to where we got here. I'm even gonna take you back a little bit further than that I remember when uh, I became superintendent in 2020, in January of 2020, we were having some conversations about uh, what do we do for the growth and the future of BC. And as we were having conversations, we started talking about how we got to add another building, we've got to get some property and all of those types of things. And really what happened in that course was we were on track and everything was going great. And then as you guys know, in March of 2020, everything changed. And um, Marty and I, where's Marty at? There he is in the back. Marty, our board president and I, we had a lot of conversations. He was kind of holed up in Florida and I was in Michigan in my basement. We were having a lot of conversations and we started talking and then we took it back to the full board and said, do we go for this bond in, uh, in 2020? And we made the courageous, and I'm gonna say courageous decision to go for this bond. And once we said we were going for it, we never looked back. And it is really all of you that are in this room that really made that difference for the success that we had in not only passing the bond, but also getting to this point of being able to open up this great new building. So there's a few people that I really want to point out and thank before I turn it over to Mr. Trout, because he's got some special things tonight. But before I do that, I want to just say, first of all, thanks to the Board of Education. I know you guys are all sporadic around and uh, a real big thank you to you because you guys were part of that initial decision and that conversation and there was a lot of discussion around that but once you guys said we're going for it we were all in and we worked hard to get that done so i want to really say thank you from marty and everybody else that is on the board just thanking them for that vision and believing in us and what we were doing the next group I really want to thank, and, and really I'm going to say these in, a, in an order, but I want you to understand there is no order for this. The, this, this is a true team effort, so it couldn't have been done, even though I'm going to single out some different groups and some different folks, could not have been done alone. So the next group I just want to thank is I want to thank OAK. They were our construction company through this entire project. You're going to hear from Kevin Knoll here in a little bit. But they, once we also said we're gonna go from this, we had a lot of meetings. I think of Rachel, you and I sitting down and talking about how this is gonna work. We shot a video right here in this spot when there was nothing here and I said, this is my favorite spot in the whole building and, I, and the building wasn't even built yet and it is still my favorite spot. And uh, Frank, you guys gave a lot of support through that and Dave and just really the entire OAK team was really behind everything that we did and uh, they really helped support us through that. The next group that has been with us really, um, and, and the nice part about both of these groups, OAK and Tower Pinkster, our architects, with them, they have been with us what I would say forever, and we have been a true partnership, and I just love that about Byron Center. And with Tower Pinkster, um, I remember it was Steve, and did Steve make it tonight, am I, or am I missing him? Okay, so Steve Hooksma, he's retired and he's, he's like done, right? So he's sitting on a beach somewhere and he's happy. But Steve Hooksma, I re I'll never forget, it was about October or November they learned I was gonna be superintendent and he came to me and he said, Kevin, if we're gonna go for a bond, you have to look at property. And he kind of whispered that in my ear. And um, I know nothing about buying, selling, uh, purchasing property, but I learned quickly. And, uh, and I gotta thank Steve for kind of putting that bug in my ear because through that we were able to start looking at what we have out here and what we have over here as far as property goes and really um, that became really a, a really good testament of really what we needed to get done. And then along there with that, obviously we had John helping us out with a lot of those. Yvonne, you were a huge part of furniture. I told her as she walked in today, I'm like, you get to see all your furniture in action tonight. And so she's excited about that. And then where's Kevin at? Kevin Jose, he's hiding somewhere. Okay, there's our resident, Mr. Byron Center, right over there. And uh, we love when he's on the project because we know that his kids go to Byron Center. 
Uh, we know there's a special care that took place in that kitchen down there for sure, uh, because his wife um, Dawn is down there and she's going to be serving on the first day of school. And uh, but we love that because you have a true investment in Byron Center. So we love when that happens as far as that goes. So that's great. There's some other folks here, I think, um, just that are behind the scenes you don't really think of when you think of buildings, but you think of Stiefel, our friends out here that just kind of help us with selling bonds, managing bonds, making sure that we're using our money wisely. I thought I saw Darcy somewhere. Where's Darcy at? Did I see? Oh, there you are. Okay. So Darcy from SetSeg, absolutely love that you are part of it and uh, you're making sure that everything um, is happening. And we're also keeping our bank people happy too. So we love that part as well that, uh, that we're making sure. And Tamara really loves that too. And I know Tamara's back there like, yep, we got to keep the bank folks happy. So there's a lot of folks in behind the scenes that you absolutely don't see. Another group that I really have to thank tonight is um, first, I have to thank the Nichols family. And uh, I've really appreciated, Gordy, you've been a mentor of mine throughout my whole entire career. When I was uh, principal at Marshall and you were assistant superintendent here. And, uh, and Lois, I know you've been alongside with him the entire way as he goes through. And I loved having the conversation with Gordy and saying, what do we want to do with the name? Do we want to keep it at the elementary school? Do we want to bring it over with the fifth, sixth building? And it was an easy decision once Gordy said, let's keep it with the fifth, sixth building. And what a great way to honor your dad. Mr. Trout's going to talk a little bit about more about that, but I'm so glad we could keep the Nichols namesake with this building and carry on that tradition, not only for him, but your family as well. And one of the things that was super nice is when you said your girls were excited that the name was going to stay. So that, that, makes me, that makes me happy. So I absolutely love that. Jim and Ruth, we couldn't have done it without you guys. And uh, that was a hard thing. How many years in that house, Jim? 52 years in that house and on this property. And those of you who are at the groundbreaking may remember that, Jim, you said we're just using this property for this time that we're here. And I love that. And I never forgot that. And um, what I love about Jim is no matter when I showed up at his house, he always wanted to put me on the side by side and take me out. <laughs> and uh, so I felt good about that. He was always wanting to take me around. And and I love because we've had a great partnership through Byron Center on that. And, uh, and I know that was hard. And I'm, I'm, we sat in your kitchen and we had conversations about it, what it looks like. But you've always been great and so gracious about what this land meant to you and now what it will mean to Byron Center and ultimately kids. So absolutely love that. So thank you for that. Very much appreciate that. A couple other folks that I want to thank along the way. I can't do it without the BC team, of course. And there's so many that are out here. And I uh, first want to say thanks to Tamara. And we could not do it without Tamara's leadership. Um, she has a vision for this. She has a passion for it. She has her attention to detail. This is when we like your attention to detail, Tamara. Okay. There's other times not so much, but uh, these times we really do. Um, and I love that because... Um, because really it gives you the product that you have here. And there's Russ out here, and Doug's out here, and Vince is out here, and you guys were a huge part of designing this, preparing, and getting ready um, for this as well. So I absolutely uh, love that you guys work as a team with that. Obviously, we have Tom, who was instrumental in this. And Tom will talk a little bit about this. But what's really nice is Tom had a group of teachers. And I think this is what makes Byron Center so successful, is that the teachers are involved from the grassroots on this. And they talk about their space. They talk about their design. And Tom, you did a good job facilitating all of those meetings and making sure that all of that happens. Along the way, we have a ton of other administrators that are back here. I think of Jeff. Where's Jeff hiding at? He always doesn't want to be the center of attention, and he's scooting down over there. But we have Jeff and principals, and uh, they are an important part in the process because they keep the school running. They keep things moving. And uh, like I said, that was during a very tough time during Byron Center, and I had to be focused on other things. But because they were doing their work, that allowed Tom to do his design work, that allowed Tamara and Doug and Russ and Vince to be able to think through the little details of this building. And along the way, we hire an assistant principal that helps to make sure that Tom can be over here, and then you can run the building while he's over in meetings. So we absolutely love that. You do a super, super job with that, Stephanie. So very much appreciate that. Um, Kevin, do me a favor. Chris Ford just popped in, and he's trying to hide around. Can you go grab him for me? Um, and Because I, I want to point out one more person who is definitely part of this. Um, 
And so really what I want to do, first I got, before I turn it over to Tom, I got to make sure I haven't missed anybody. Okay, perfect. Chris, you thought you were going to get away from, from this. Yes. Okay. So he was going to be part of my OAK discussion. And Cade, you're part of it too, but you can back, you can back me up on this. Chris is what we affectionately call the dream crusher, okay? <laughs> so we come up with these big plans in BC, and we're going to do this, and there's going to be a water slide. Sorry, girls. There was going to be a water slide, and there was going to be a wave park. All the stuff I wanted, but it's him. He's the one who said, we can't do it. We can't afford it, okay? So I'm just, I'm just saying, okay? I'm just letting you know. So... Uh, but no, Chris definitely keeps us on track and he keeps us focused on what we need to do. That makes sure that we hit our marks in Byron Center. And you will see oftentimes where projects, they have to either go out and rebid or they have to go for another bond. And we haven't had to do that in Byron Center. And that's because of you, Chris. So I want to say thank you for that. And we wouldn't have to repurpose anything, Cade. So the first time I met Cade from OAK, I was principal at Marshall, and I had him repurpose because I was thinking of Mother Earth. I was trying to keep everything. Uh, we were supposed to reuse everything. So we were using shelves, and we were using bookcases. And uh, so, Chris, you were able to really keep us on track for that. So I really appreciate that, and thank you for that very much. Um, takes a full, full team, as you say, as I, as, as I went through this today and as I talked to you today, we couldn't do this. And there's not one person that isn't in this room that doesn't have a true impact on what happens with this building. And because of that, uh, that's why we're here for kids and the excitement of the community today and the excitement of the ribbon cutting that we're going to have uh, in just a little bit. So uh, just a few thank yous. I know that went, uh, where's, where's Trisha Hyden? I'm doing okay on time. I know she's telling me, keep going, keep it going. But, we're, but we, had, we do have to say thank you to really all these folks that are really a huge part of this. So right now I'm going to kick it over to Mr. Trout and uh, he's going to take us through kind of the next part of this uh, ceremony today. Thank you, Kevin. For the last three and a half years, I feel like a kid who has been waiting for Christmas uh, to happen. And each year, no, Christmas isn't this year, and well, maybe next year, and then the next year. And here we are three and a half years later, and it's Christmas. And it's a wonderful day, a great uh, day to celebrate as a community, as a school community as well. And so very happy to be here with you. My name is Tom Trout. I'm the principal here at the New Nichols now. And uh, it has been an amazing process. Kevin talked a lot about um, what went into that initial process and in the design. And what I was most impressed with, and this is with our partners in Tower Pinkster and OAK, was um, the level of input that we all received. So it wasn't just me. It was staff, teachers, community members, uh, just really from the ground up deciding what what this place was going to look like. And one of the things that we focused on was learning spaces and creating spaces that were um, really conducive to learning and uh, the type of space that would be comfortable for kids but would also allow kids to receive lots and lots of assistance and support in a, in a lot of creative ways. An example of that, if you just look out these windows into this beautiful backdrop, um, and, and this is my favorite spot, too, um, by far. But we have outdoor learning spaces, just like this courtyard, that are designed um, to give students a variety in, and include nature um, and just a nice backdrop and setting um, for learning. And, um, and then on the side, we have an outdoor learning space outside of the art and STEM rooms. We have an outdoor eating space outside of our cafeteria. As you begin to look through the building, you'll see many of these spaces that were designed specifically by our teachers and staff and community members. So literally from the ground up, um, the design was uh, uh, made with those things in mind. So really proud of that, uh, especially just knowing that teachers and staff feel really good about that level of input. And, and then being able to walk into the building and think back three and a half years ago and, and think, oh my goodness, everything that was dreamed up is a reality now. It's, it's just amazing. And so um, there are a couple things we had to cut out, you know, like the water slide and the bowling alley. And uh, Mr. Kruzniak, he wanted a sky bridge to connect the two wings. I mean, all that, all that got cut by the dream crusher, Chris. So. <laughs> Thank you, yes. 
So we've had a lot of fun in the process, and um, and and also I just just want to say thank you to Kevin Knoll. I've I've worked with him a little closer over the last several weeks as uh, the staff has been able to get into the building. But just a special thank you to Kevin, and uh, just your graciousness and willingness to work with us and get get us the things that we need. And he'd stop by my office and and just. We're getting a little closer. We're getting a little closer, one thing at a time, day by day. And uh, just his excitement, too, and his passion for making sure that everything goes off without a hitch um, was unmatched. Um, even a several months ago, I'll say something personal about my father. Um, he was able to come in, and my father is, um, had been going through cancer for a couple of years. And Kevin took the time out of his day to take him through the building and my my dad really appreciates that building process and so to take the time and go through and spend time with him was just amazing so it just uh, speaks to his character and just the the OAK um, construction company and, and everything that they're able to do for us so really proud of that and want to say thank you um, Kevin talked a little bit about the namesake of Robert L Nichols and so Gordy how you doing good to see you guys and we were very, very happy to be able to take the name that was placed on our old nickels and, and put it out here. And if you've been here at night, you've probably noticed that all the letters light up. It's really neat. So if you are here after dark and you look outside, it just looks beautiful. And um, I have the original plaque that was used to dedicate the old nickels here. Um, so it's a little beat up, but it's still here. And we're going to display this in the display case right out here. But it says Robert L. Nichols, he dedicated his life to improving education for kids in this community. As a teacher and coach, he inspired students and athletes to excel. He approached daily life with a positive attitude and a wonderful sense of humor. As principal, he instilled a spirit of pride and teamwork in his teachers. He was respected by students and peers. As an educational leader here, he served with enthusiasm and he was our friend. So um, what uh, a great opportunity to rededicate um, his namesake again to another building. So we're very happy about that. And uh, we can only aspire to be like your dad, Gordy. And, and uh, I, I said this earlier, but it's, it's, even though the building is beautiful and it has all these wonderful learning spaces, it's the people in the building that make the building. It's not the building that make the people. And so it's exciting to see a couple of students in the building already, and we've already got community members coming in to celebrate with us tonight. But um, a couple of weeks ago when we first had our teachers in, it was pretty remarkable how excited they were too to create their spaces in their classrooms um, that were very, very welcoming, and, and they're so excited too to begin that first day of school next week. So proud to, proud to be a part of this process and proud to be the first principal in this building along with Stephanie, our assistant principal. Um, what I'd like to do is in, uh, introduce a couple of our students that are on our student leadership team at this time. And uh, they had the opportunity to tour the building. We've got some great pictures of them with hard hats. Were you, you both were on that tour that day with us? Yeah. So they were able to see this in the spring and um, quite, a, uh, quite a transformation since then, isn't it? Yeah, so we were going to hear a little bit from Alexa and uh, Lilia, and so I'd like to have you come up at this time, whoever wants to go first. <laughs> yeah, all right, and so um, I'm just going to turn it over to them, and they're going to share with you just their impressions of um, just the opportunity to tour and to be in this building for the very first time, and uh, we're just excited to share this with you. Hi. My name is Alexa Barr, and I I am a student at Nichols, and um, I was one of the first people who got a tour this school when it was only under construction, and I'm really excited that I get to be part of the first sixth grade group to actually like be in this school. Um, thank you to all the workers and the community and all the teachers that helped put this school together, and I'm. Really excited to be part and have a fun at the new school. Thank you. Great job, and we're very excited to have you here as a leader. I, I always say, too, um, when fifth graders come in, they're kind of like freshmen, and, uh, and then 
after just a year, they kind of become seniors. So you guys are the seniors of the building. So thank you so much for leading us and uh, being a great example for uh, the other students here. All right, come on up and we can, uh, you've got quite the speech prepared there. Wow, I'm impressed. All right, here you go. Hello, Byron Center. My name is Lily Damsgaard, and I will be in sixth grade at our new Nickel School. I'm so excited to have the privilege to learn in an environment with so many new resources. Also, thank you so much for taking so much time and effort on making this wonderful new building. So thank you, all school leadership, teachers, and community members. Because of you, this will be the best year ever. Go Bulldogs. Go Bulldogs. Go Bulldogs indeed. Thank you so much. Um, again, we're looking forward to your leadership in the building and clearly you guys are our future. So awesome to see you here. Um, Kevin, do you have another introduction? Are we? Yes, I got one more. One more. All right, I'm gonna turn it back over to Kevin, but uh, again, thank you so much for coming and uh, just wonderful to have you all out to celebrate this wonderful evening um, as a community and a school family. Thank you. All right, Mr. Noel, come on up. Okay, so I'm gonna introduce Kevin Noel, and um, Kevin is the project superintendent for this building. So uh, for each project that we have, there's always somebody who's the lead of what happens um, at each of the projects. And um, I was excited after talking with Frank and Cade and Jeremy about you being on this project. And what was nice about it is we did an interview with you. Do you remember that? And we interviewed him. Remember that, Tamara? And we had, uh, and he, he had a tie on, and I think it was a tux. Didn't you wear a tux that night? No. <laughs> um, but what I love about it is when he was talking, he was talking about not just about building a building, but just doing it with integrity, doing it with ethics, doing it with morals. And I'm like, boy, this is the guy. This is, what, this is who we're looking for. And what was nice about that, Kevin, is you talked about that throughout your interview, but then you lived it every day. And it's things like taking Tom's dad on a tour. And every time that I came over, you answered my questions. You never seemed rushed. Even in the last two weeks when there was a lot going on, uh, you always were calm about it. And I really appreciated that. And uh, thanks to OAK for um, just making him a part of our team as well. So we really enjoyed having you here. But I wanted to give you a chance to say a few words because this becomes your... Um, your heart, your passion, and you're, and you're living it. He, he said, I don't lose sleep, but when I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning, I start thinking about the building, and I can't go back to sleep. And I'm like, that's my kind of guy. We want, him on, we want him on the team. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Thanks, Thanks Kevin. Um, so the, there were three Kevins, Kevin Messina, Kevin Jose, and myself. And you get an email that says it's to Kevin. It's like, well, you got to read it. It might not even be for you. He never wanted my emails. So... so. Um, a, a lot of the theme is thank yous. So I want to thank, uh, at least to start, uh, the, the guy who was here four or five times a day to say, can I help you? Can, what can I do for you? What do you need? Thank you, Doug. Appreciate it. So much fun. Tamara, you too. I mean, we, you, eight, nine months ago, you said uh, you got all straight and said, are, you, are we going to make it? I said, <laughs> by about like this. And I, and I said, when I see that we won't or something comes up, we'll find a, a different plan. So, I mean, we just kept patting things back in place and find a way through things, and we made it by about like that. So, thank you for your help and your support. Russ, thank you. It's fun to see you every day. Smile on your face, and look what we all did together. So that's, that's the proof, you know, it's the best things in life aren't easy. So we have to fight this all the way to the end, and, and it's fun. Thank you, Jacob, Cade, Frank, Dave, thank you, Kevin, Jose, also another one. Call me, call me, call me. And how many times did I call you? A couple times a day. Fantastic service, fantastic investment, so I appreciate it. So I guess here we stand, and it's all finished. I think back to the cafeteria. The masons built the outside wall. The roof wasn't on. I mean, it was three feet of mud. And I was in with uh, Rob Wanzer from Begrave. He said <laughs> the other day, and he walked through, he says, 
you remember how deep the mud was in here? So, again, we go from a pasture, knock down a bunch of trees, to a flat tabletop building site, put footings in, build walls, and, and it, you know, it's just this, it's creeping along, but, you know, we're always going forward. So, I guess, again, thank you, everybody. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you. I want to close with a couple of things. First of all, there, this is a time of celebration. And like I said earlier, we can't do it with all the folks that are in the room. One of the things that I just do want to point out, and I truly mean this, um, we've been talking a lot about how it becomes the work family, right? So, you know, we partner with Tower Pinkster. We partner with OAK, we partner with our own admin staff, we partner with the Board of Education. But you'll notice around here, there's a lot of spouses and family that came today. And the reason why that is, is because it becomes a labor of love. It really does. And so the reason why spouses are here and kids are here is because when they go home, they talk about work and they talk about the excitement of work. And it doesn't matter if you're a superintendent, if you're a teacher, if you're a project superintendent, it, even if the dream crusher goes home and talks about some nice things <laughs> once in a while. And I wanna thank really all the spouses and the families because at times those calls didn't really come between eight and five, they came afterwards and there was emergency calls and there was late night emails. And I mean that from the board perspective, all the way through everybody who's been on the project. So I really uh, want to say a real big thank you to those who are behind the scenes. Leslie, big thank you to you because that's a big project, right? And there's a lot of sleepless nights. So thank you for supporting him and being by his side through all of that. And, uh, and I really mean that. I couldn't do it without Meg, my, my wife. And, uh, and I know that many of us can't do it without our spouses and those people who are supporting us behind the scenes. So just a big thank you today and a time to celebrate. What's great is you guys sit here, there's a lot of community members already coming in. Uh, we had one family, they walked in at 445 and they were like, we're here for the tour. And I'm like, well, I didn't know I was given a tour, but I guess I am now. <laughs> so here we go. And uh, that's excitement. That's, uh, that's someone being proud of their community, being proud of what's happening within their uh, school and being proud of their school. So just really want to um, thank everybody for that. Okay, so now this is the big time. And Trisha, you can help me in case I miss anybody. But girls, we're going to have you guys come up, Mr. Trout, Mrs. Hare. Um, I would also like to have Kevin Knoll. We're going to do the official ribbon cutting up here. So I want Kevin Knoll up here. I'd like Doug and Tamara, Russ, Vince. I want you guys up here. Um, who am I missing, Trish? Anybody? Okay. All right. So there's a couple of different things that happen here. There's the official ribbon cutting, and that's what's going to happen here. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do is let's do this, girls. We're going to have Mr. Trout with the big scissors. I, we're hoping we can trust him. We want you to stand next to him. Mr. Noel, will you hold the end over here? Vince, will you grab this end over here? And then Tamara and Doug and you guys kind of sneak in there too, and we'll get a good photo op and a video and all that good stuff. Okay, now, whoa, e easy, Mr. Trout, easy. All right. <laughs> Okay, now, while you guys are posing, you guys pose for some pictures, and you guys smile right out here. You can see where everybody's taking pictures of you, all that good stuff, okay? Yeah, I'll get in there in just, in just a minute. I'm, just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help with just some, some logistics. So we're going to do an official ribbon cutting here, okay? Then afterwards, our friends from OAK, Rachel, you're going to help us, and Jen, you're going to help us get, we have kind of a, a, a staged one. And I really, before people go, I really want some OAK folks up here, and don't sneak out, Frank. Don't sneak out. you got to get your picture taken. Board members, I want you guys to come up. You know, Tower Pinkster, you guys kind of come up, and we'll get, we'll get some photos afterwards. And then um, we have some desserts and cookies that you guys can do before you go through that. Okay? Sound good? All right. Now you ready for me? All right. Sure. 
Elvira on social media, so it kind of looks good. Give him a big woohoo after he cuts this here. <laughs> 